Okay, I got my antifreeze uh, reservoir filled up. Actually, I got more than I need in there, but I'm waiting for it to settle down because I just poured it in there, just in case it has air in it. But today I'm going to show you the best way to mix uh, one gallon. My vehicle takes two gallons, a little bit more than two gallons of antifreeze. So I'm going to tell you the best way to mix one gallon of concentrate with one gallon of distilled water. Okay. This is uh, one gallon of concentrate, good for 10 years or 300 miles, whichever comes first. Okay. And here's one gallon of distilled water. Okay. This was like a dollar, sixteen cents, something like that at Walmart, and I got this at Walmart also. Uh, one gallon of Prestone antifreeze for all vehicles, all makes and models in all years. It was like twelve dollars. So, the way you start this out is, okay, you go ahead and open up your Prestone antifreeze first, okay. Pour half of this in first in your car. After you pour your half of this gallon in, then you take a half a gallon of distilled water and pour that half a gallon in here to fill this up. Okay, then mix it up, shake it up like I did. Okay, and then pour the rest of this mixture into your car then that way you'll have a half a gallon left of distilled water then you pour that half a gallon of distilled water in last that's how you mix up one um, or the way you're supposed to mix up um, concentrate with uh, one gallon of distilled water so that's the only way you can do it uh, one gallon of uh, concentrate pressed on antifreeze or any kind of antifreeze with a uh, gallon of distilled water. You can just get both of them and just uh, do it that way or you can just get it and pour it into like a, a canister and mix them both together and then pour it in that way uh, mixed up or you can do it this way. Okay, I didn't really have any new, uh, any kind of uh, can clean container to put it in so I did it this way. So you can do it either way. There's two ways to do it. That's how you do it.